The process of air flowing into the lungs, a crucial aspect of the respiratory system, is governed by various physiological mechanisms and principles of physics. The primary driver of this process is the creation of a pressure gradient between the air outside the body and the air inside the lungs. This gradient is established and manipulated through the mechanics of breathing, primarily involving the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. Keep watching for a brief overview of this topic. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle located at the base of the lungs and plays a central role in the process of breathing. When you inhale, the diaphragm contracts and flattens, moving downwards. This action increases the space in the thoracic cavity where the lungs are housed. Concurrently, the intercostal muscles, which are situated between the ribs, also contract. This contraction elevates the rib cage, further expanding the thoracic cavity. The combined effect of the diaphragm flattening and the rib cage expanding is a significant increase in the volume of the thoracic cavity. According to Boyle's law, a principle in physics, there is an inverse relationship between the volume and pressure of a gas. As the volume of the thoracic cavity increases, the pressure within it decreases. This reduction in pressure creates a negative pressure environment relative to the atmospheric pressure outside the body. In other words, the pressure inside the lungs becomes lower than the pressure outside. This pressure differential is the driving force behind airflow into the lungs. Air naturally moves from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure to equalize the pressure difference. Therefore, when the pressure inside the thoracic cavity drops below atmospheric pressure, air is drawn into the lungs through the respiratory tract. This pathway includes the nose or mouth, pharynx, larynx, trachea, and the bronchi, which lead into the lungs. Once inside the lungs, air travels through an increasingly branched network of smaller airways called bronchioles, eventually reaching the alveoli. The alveoli are tiny balloon-like structures where gas exchange occurs. Oxygen from the inhaled air diffuses through the walls of the alveoli and into the blood in the surrounding capillaries while carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveoli to be exhaled. This entire process is cyclical and rhythmically controlled by the respiratory center in the brainstem. The respiratory center automatically regulates the rate and depth of breathing based on the body's oxygen and carbon dioxide levels, ensuring that these processes occur efficiently and continuously. But, as previously mentioned, the flow of air into the lungs is a result of the coordinated action of respiratory muscles, the expansion of the thoracic cavity, the creation of a negative pressure environment within the lungs, and the subsequent movement of air along a pressure gradient. This is facilitated by the structure of the respiratory tract and the inherent properties of gases. This intricate process is vital for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide, which is fundamental to life. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.